Did you get a chance when you did screen this in Washington, to, I mean, to talk to any uh, influential elected officials at length about this? Yes, we did. I mean, we had, uh, you know, a number of screenings in, uh, in Congress. We've been into the Pentagon multiple times. Um, I mean, the film has become a reference point within Congress, within the administration, and within the military. Every time there's focus on this film, there's activity in Washington. Um, so there is activity moving in Congress that has, you know, Congress has oversight of the military, and in some ways, they're behind the curve on their responsibility here. There's one woman in the film named Corey, who right. is a veteran who was also raped. Her jaw was severely uh, injured or broken. Um, and she can't get help from the VA. She's tried and tried and tried in the film, and right. she can't get um, the VA to, to cover the, pr the procedures that she needs. Um, how is this happening? And, I mean, who, who could be held accountable? What I'd really like to see is policy change. I mean, this is something the military can change. They've addressed a similar problem, racism, very successfully. And uh, racism is actually less in the military than it is in civilian society. And I think... Uh, the fact that racism has declined over the 50 years is in part a tribute to what the military has done. They could do the same thing here because they have control of, a, of their population the way the civilian society doesn't. It's a hierarchical system. They can, uh, they can impose changes, and these uh, men then will leave the military and take these values into society. But uh, they haven't done it yet. But, this, but, I mean, to me, this looks like an epidemic, like a huge problem that is not being addressed. It's a national security problem. Exactly. So why, why don't you want to see some sort of investigation that would hold, you know, perhaps uh, high-level figures in the military accountable? Well, I would like to see certainly commanders who have uh, oversight at this point certainly held, re held accountable if they don't uh, initiate uh, these investigations and prosecutions. I, again, I'm more concerned, rather than pointing fingers at one or two or three people and, you know, you know <laughs> taking down some people, I'm more concerned in systemic change. We're talking nearly 20,000 men and women are getting sexually assaulted. I mean... What I would like to see much more is I would like to see these serial perpetrators put behind bars.